Welcome everybody, my name is Thiago and I'm here to show you Vento, that's a Laravel code generator. So let's create a new project here, uh, I will select a folder here. Let's create a new project, that's for YouTube video. And here you can select the Laravel version. Uh, what a database here and okay that's our pro project and it automatically adds the user model and here we can add uh, a new field uh, for example gender and as you can see, uh, whenever we add a new field, it it will will try to identify uh, the type of the field, so it automatically added a new here. And if you go to the settings here, you can see that it automatically added the options and the faker here. So. Whenever you try to add a new field, it will identify, uh, it will check in, in the Vento internal library and, and will try to, to add uh, the tape automatically. Uh, for example, if I add description field, it will add the text uh, tape and it will add the, this faker here. And okay, uh, let's add another model. I would uh, an order model. Let's add some fields here. Date. It adds the, the faker here too. Uh, description. And okay, uh, I think it's good. Let's add a relationship here with model. Let's add a belongs to relationship. Uh, uh, as you can see, it uh, it will suggest uh, uh, the the relationship name and the relationship foreign key. Uh, you don't need to add the foreign key yourself because Vent will generate it automatically. But you can do it if you you want. Uh, let's save the relationship. Okay. Uh, let's another model here. Okay, price and quantity. Okay, and a relationship with the order. Okay, uh, so now let's try to add a belongs to many relationship. I would add, uh, image ops image model here and let's add it belongs to many user uh, it will su suggest the the relationship name uh, the pivot table uh, that follows the, the Laravel standards and the, the case name is, let's save it, okay, uh, as you can see it created all the necessary stuff here, and okay, uh, I think it's okay for the schema, uh, let's go to the, the applications tab, I will, I will add a crude application here for user, we can change the responsivity. Validation, it, it automatically fills the validation for you, but you can, can add more rules here, for example, uh, unique, and it will search here. You can see a lot of validations here and you can click here to to open the, the details in the Laravel documentation. 
uh, okay let's add another crud for order as you can see as order has a relationship with uh, user it will automatically add this this select here and on validation you can see that it adds the existing users id uh, really to and okay here are the project settings uh, uh, we can change uh, the meta segment strategy here uh, from fillable to guarded and we can ch change the controller name mode from singular to plural and uh, the validation mode uh, the roads mode for example uh, for the full it will generate roads as resource but you can change it to to generate all the roads in line on your roads file and you can change the the authentication model by the full it's user but you can change it here and uh, currently it generates on only bootstrap uh, uh, views now I am currently working to a Tailwind CSS2. Uh, by the full, Turbolinks is enabled. Uh, uh, if you don't know, there Turbolinks. Turbolinks is a, a library, a JavaScript library that uh, uh, speed up the, the load of the, the pages. Uh, if you don't know it, you can click here, learn more to know more about Turbolinks. Uh, okay, here we have uh, folders. Uh, you can change all the folders here and it will automatically change the namespaces in the files too and here we have uh, the page to generate the code uh, you can here select what sections of code you, you want to generate by default it will generate the migrations, models, factors, seeders and policies and if you have uh, applications it will uh, allow you to generate requests controllers tests and views and uh, soon we will have uh, API controllers and other other type of, of uh, stuff here okay let's generate the code okay it's finished it uh, let's run the project now Here is our project and let's log in here. Uh, so uh, as we added these two applications, it generated users and orders in, in this apps menu. Uh, here is, you can create new data here. Let's see the, the orders. Let's create a new new order. Uh, okay, uh, it's here. Uh, I will show you the code generated by Vento now. see the user model you can see that the uh, vento uh, order the, the use statements uh, to make it more more organized uh, let's see the order model so you can see the relationships here uh, the user, the items relationship, and let's see the order controller. Okay, it's here. Uh, you can see here that the code is simple, but it's easily modifiable, so you can extend it as you want. Uh, that's it. I hope you like Advento and if you have any questions, please feel free to comment uh, in the section below and the Advento link will be in the description of the video. Uh, sorry for my English, this is my first video in English, so I am trying to improve my, my pronunciation and, 
and if you hear any mistakes I made please comment below and I will try to improve my my English uh, more and more thank you for uh, watching this video and and have a nice day